I am Mike Wong. I was born in China, uh, in a city called Jilin. That's a city near Beijing, and I started the piano when I was five years old. My mom always had a passion for piano, but she always regrets the fact that she never learned it when she was younger, and that's why she wanted me to learn the piano. I moved to South Africa when I was eight years old because my dad wanted to start a business here and wanted me to learn English. But when I first came here, I didn't really go to school, and I had all this free time. And my parents thought, you, you, you need to use this time. So why don't don't you pick up the piano again? And that's why my mom got me a teacher in Stellenbosch, Dr. Mario Nell. And he stole my current piano teacher. And this is where my piano journey truly began. And life wasn't always easy when I came to South Africa. A lot of cultural differences between, you know, the the Chinese culture and. Just the Western culture in general. My parents would always、uh, complain about, you know, the food and just the the language barriers. Sometimes they have to go through. But I think it's it's a good thing for me to experience both cultures because I get to express both of these two cultures in my music. I came to Boys Eye when I was grade eight, and it wasn't always easy for me. A lot of hardships that I have to go through, but in the end, I, I feel like I'm at home, and this is where I belong. The other day, he told me, Alex, I need you when you do this interview to tell everyone that you were my first friend in Boys Eye, and that made that just meant so much to me. He always found a way to entertain us during culture camp. Very interesting personality, I must say. As you get to know him, he's actually a lot more wholesome than you might think. He's such a nice person. Mike has been getting more involved with like the school. He's a, he's a prefect now, and、uh, I'm looking forward to see where he goes in the future. He comes across as a very humble and playful personality. He doesn't have to always lift up his voice and shout, but has his presence known when he's in a room by his kindness. I knew this guy was going to be a fantastic person. I just could tell from his attitude and the way he spoke. Mike is probably the hardest working person I've ever met. As long as I've known Mike, he's been a fantastic friend as well as role model to me. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, a, he's an absolute legend. Enough said. Was really just jaw dropping, like the music he was making. Without Mike, there's no piano, really. Before I perform in front of an audience, 
I would get really nervous, like honestly. But as I played my first note, I would become one with the music and I would let the music take me and it would just take my fear away and brings out the inner emotions that I try to express to the audience and to myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to describe. It comes from the inside. And with human emotions, you, you can't explain it. And that's what makes it so, so charming and special. I want to become a concert pianist and I don't really care how famous I get or whether I get famous at all. My life motto is just that you have to go with the flow. You don't know where life will take you. But one thing that's for certain is that I am going to try my best and do my best to show everyone in the world who I truly am and what I'm capable of. I wish to inspire the young generations and other people who have passion for music to pursue their dreams and not give up because you're going to face many hardships along the way but it's those tough times that makes the, the good times feel just special. I am Mike Wong. Qin Jian Bu Zhi Shi Hei Bai Deng.